This is our uh, shell egg processing facility, and this is where all the eggs come to from the farms. How many eggs do you process a day? We process about 1.8 million eggs a, a day here. Wow. It's about three times what we used to do 30 years ago. Well, let's go take a look. Okay. Coming, Josh. All right. Cal walked us down the line and showed us all the various stages of the process. This machine actually does two things. It rotates the eggs so that they're all in the same position throughout processing, and it washes them. They use a specialized solution of water and soap to clean and sanitize the eggs. The water temperature is about 106 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a dirt detection system. It used to be someone's job to look at all these eggs going past and pick out the ones that had spots of dirt on them. Now the eggs cruise right past an array of 16 different cameras. The eggs are rotated as they pass through, so the cameras can see all of the egg. The shots from the cameras are analyzed by this computer. If it sees a spot, that egg is automatically routed off to the side and back to the washer. Josh, music? We both need a good grade on this. Oh, <sighs> fine. Speaking of sound, I thought this was interesting. It's a crack detector, and it checks the egg sonically. Tiny probes tap each egg and listen for the sound it makes. If the sound has a high pitch and a sustained ring, the egg is fully intact. If it's more of a thud, there's a crack somewhere, and that egg will be routed to a different line. The cool thing is how fast all this happens. The eggs don't even slow down, because the machine taps and listens to each egg 16 times in a matter of seconds. Some places still candle the eggs, but this is how they do it now much faster and more efficient than the old way. And this is the modern version of the one egg at a time scale. The eggs pass over sensors built into the line, all controlled by a computer. Each egg is weighed over 60 times in under a second. There is only a three ounce difference in weight per dozen between different sizes of eggs, like medium, large, and extra large. The eggs then go through this grading machine. These machines are huge and can handle millions of eggs a day. Once the eggs have gone through all of the inspections and grading, they're sorted to separate lines for packaging. The eggs are sorted by grade and size. This is the line for grade A, large eggs. There are other lines for grades AA and B, medium and large sizes too. Big farms like this one fill orders for several different grocery outlets, so they'll run different cartons depending on their orders. Some stores specify fiber cartons, while others might use foam. Advanced technology is used in the packing. The date information is burned into the cartons with a laser. The date might be an expiration or sell-by date, which is used by the stores, or a best-by or use-by date, which is meant for the consumer. Basically, the carton of eggs you bring home from the store will last at least three weeks in your refrigerator with no real quality loss. And if you've got lasers, you gotta have robots. These arms are controlled by a computer that gets information from different sensors. So the arms know when to pick up the cartons on each line, how to turn them, and when the box is full. Then a new box is unfolded and the robotic arms keep on packing. The packed boxes are placed on pallets and sent to the refrigerated warehouse where they'll be loaded into refrigerated trucks. This all happens pretty quickly even with all these processing steps, eggs are often shipped out the same day they are laid. They told us that this person was not just randomly stealing eggs. To make sure all this high-tech machinery is doing a good job, they pull cartons off the line and check them for quality. The quality assurance employees check the eggs for cracks and dirt. Then they measure the eggs for size and confirm their grade to make sure they meet the standards. As long as everything checks out, this farm just keeps moving eggs. A place like this will ship millions of eggs every day. And that's just at one farm.